Hi everyone, this is Jenny from 21 Songs in 6 Days and I'm going to give you a newbie lesson on Over the Rainbow. Now there's a lot of lesson videos out there but what's different about mine is that the lesson is going to be for people who are new to the instrument. So the first thing to do is go over the chords in the introduction and I will name each chord and then play it four times and then you can play the chord with me. The first chord is a C chord and it's just three fingers on the um, string that is closest to the floor and now we're going to play four times. The second chord is your E minor and what I do is I slide my first finger up the second fret, I put it on the bottom string, then my second finger, then my third finger and so the top string is open and I'll do four of those. Ready? Go! Then I'm going to move to A minor, which is the second finger on the top string in the second fret. Then F major, which is the first finger here, the second finger here. From A minor to F, you just place one finger down. Ready? Go. Then we're back to C. Now G is kind of a tricky chord for newbies to get and what I used are my rabbit ears which are these two fingers here the second finger is on the first string in the second fret the first finger is on the third string in the second fret and then my third finger can go into that next string so it looks like this then I'm back to my A minor second finger then my F major and this F at 9 all you do is you take this third finger, this ring finger, and you put it down, and then you lift it back up. People sometimes have trouble with that. And if this first finger comes off, it doesn't really matter. So now what we'll do is each of the chords, we'll do four of them, and then I'll say, ready, go, and you'll get ready for the next chord. And you can get the chords pretty much on any site that would have uh, would have the chords for Over the Rainbow. So here we go. One, two, ready, go. C, 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 C. Get E minor ready. E minor. One, two, A minor. F major. Ready, go. Back to C. Ready, go. G, rabbit ears. Third finger. A minor. Ready? Go. F. F at nine. F. So you might want to do that a couple times just so you're comfortable with the chords. It's fine to stop between each chord and get your left hand ready. That it's probably better once you know how to do that you'll be able to do it without a pause. Okay, so we got that, hopefully. Next part is a strumming pattern. And the strumming pattern goes like this. That's a variation on a down, up, down, up strum. So if you have four beats you would be playing all downs. One, two, three, four. If you have all eighth notes, you'll go one and two and three and four and that's down up, down up, down up, down up. This is more interesting, so it's one, two and three and four and one, two and three and four and and the pattern is down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. Now we're going to try that pattern with a pause to get ready for each chord. We'll get four beats between each chord. And this is just the introduction. One, two, E minor. One, two, A minor. One, two, F major. One, two, C major. One, two, G major. 
do that, then you can do it without pauses. two measures of each chord. So the way the oohs go is then you change to E minor. Then you change to F major. C major. Then F major. is on the third string second fret and then the third finger would be on the first string and the shape that is in the uh, lyric if you see a chord shape of it it's not that hard to get <laughs> pattern but it's two measures for each chord will pause between the changes E minor okay. ready changes are a little bit easier to hear. Chord. 
lesson. It's not that easy of a song to play, but I'm sure you can learn it with practice. Do the pauses, that should help a lot with being able to learn the changes, strumming pattern and voice all together. It's a lot of coordination, but it's a beautiful song. So have fun with it. <laughs>